Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the new and upcoming Feather client for Minecraft Java Edition. This is going to be a new Minecraft launcher and for those of you who don't know this is going to offer us loads of cool stuff like FPS boosts, 40 plus mods and we can play on different versions of Minecraft. So as you guys can see, we can play on version 1.8.9, version 1.12.2, version 1.17.1, and also the latest release of Minecraft, which is version 1.18.1. The Feather client does have some really neat features that some of you are really gonna enjoy when you do get to use it. So when you first download and install the Feather client, this is what you are going to see. This is the Feather client user interface interface i really do like this user interface everything just looks so much cleaner and neat and it's nicely laid out as well you don't have to go around searching for stuff it's right there and it's really straightforward so if you guys do like clean and neat user interfaces then the feather client will offer you that the first thing you will have to do is actually log in to the feather client using your mojang account or your microsoft account so you will need to have an official mojang or microsoft account to be able to log in to the Feather client. If we have a look at the settings menu over here, we can see that it does allow us to allocate RAM to the game. So as you guys can see, I have set it to four gigs of RAM, and obviously you can increase or decrease that if you want to do that. It does have a section here for your default Minecraft path, and it also has an option here so you can decide what you want to do with the launcher after the game has opened. So if you want to keep this launcher open or you want to hide it once the game is open and running, you can also select the resolution the game will launch with when you open it by inputting your resolution details in these sections. You can also go ahead and repair the game. So if you do mess up the game for any reason, you can go ahead and select your current version of the game here you can then click on repair and that should repair the game and bring it back to the default settings that you started off with if you click on the profile button over here you can see it says link your discord accounts for perks we can then go into the play section as you guys can see we do have currently four different versions of minecraft that we can launch from this section so for version 1.8.9 and version 1.12.2 it does say launch forge so it, it actually uses the forge mod loader and it does have mods included so you will get to play with forge related content using these two versions if you do launch the version 1.17.1 and the latest release of minecraft version 1.18.1 you will notice it says launch fabric so this actually comes with fabric related mods that you can expect to see in the game if we click on this button over here which says mods we can see that we can select different mods for the different versions of the game so as you guys can see for version 1.8.9 we can go ahead and select all of these mods you can also go into the browse mod section and you can select different mods you want to enable or disable in this section so if i click on this mod over here i can click on remove and then i can add it back into the game and this is for version 1.8.9 you may see more mods added to this section once the feather client is out on public release they also do have different categories here so you can can see that I have selected the all tab here but you can click on high pixel performance tools and media we also have the replay mod which you can go ahead and enable for all of the different versions that we can play on if I click into a Minecraft version I can also click on this button that says add own mods and this is a really good game changer for the Minecraft game client launches where you can actually add your own mods to the game so as you guys can see version 1.18.1 already has these couple of fabric mods which we can enable or disable when we want to start the game however you can add more mods into the game as well i have actually gone ahead and put about 30 mods into the game and i will show you guys later on what those mods look like alongside the feather clients own mods so let's go ahead and launch a game using the feather client i'm going to launch a game using version 1.18.1 i'm going to select sodium entity culling starlight and the replay mod and we're going to see how the game looks when we first launch it so when you click on play you can basically click on this button and then it should launch the game so let's wait for the game to now load up all right, so the game is now loaded up. Let's go ahead and maximize this window. And as you guys can see, this is a completely different user interface to the default Minecraft 
user interface and menus so we have our menu items on the left hand side here so we've got single player multiplayer and quick game and we have our options on the top right corner here so as you guys can see it says feather mod which i will go into later on we have our mc settings so these are the normal minecraft settings which we can look into and some of you might be familiar with these we've also got the minecraft realms and we also have the replay mod section here and you can also configure the replay mod by clicking on this configure icon here and choosing the different setting you can have a look at your different recordings which you have done with the replay mod if we go into the feather mod section we can see that these are the different mods that the game does come with which you can go ahead and enable so some of you might actually try out the feather client and you might decide to stay and stick with this client for a long time because these might be the only mods that you'll ever need to play the game with and to add to that you can add your own fabric mods as well which some of the clients can't do so if you have used some of the other clients recently you will have noticed that you can only use the client's own mods but with the feather client you can add your own fabric mods as well alongside its own mods so that is a really cool function all right, so let's have a look at these mods. I have gone ahead and selected the all section here, but you can actually differentiate it using the different categories. So we can select the HUD mods here. We can select the high pixel mods and the PVP mods as well. You can go ahead and make a mod your favorite. So I can click into this heart and that will make the mod into my favorite and add it to my favorites. I can then click on this heart icon and it will display that particular mod. So you can actually go ahead and select different mods here that you want to add to your favorites menu. Let's go ahead and untick that for now. You can also search for the mods on here as well. We can also make these buttons look bigger by clicking on this middle icon here and it will actually make the logos look much bigger for each of the mods so you can see what they do some of you might like to see the bigger icons and then some of you might like to see the smaller icons like this as well if you click on this button it will actually open the profiles so you can go ahead and select your default profile here or you can go ahead and create different profiles and have different profiles with different mods enabled in them so you can go ahead and have a pvp profile or a pve profile if that is what you like to do we will take a look at what these mods do in the game later on and how to configure them you can also click on this section here which says general on the left hand side you can change the default color throughout the feather client by clicking onto this button here where it says main color i can go ahead and select a different color and all of these menu items will then show that color as you guys can see the general section is now showing that color if i go into the mod section it is showing that same color and before it was red but now it has changed to blue same thing for the menu colors as well which is a really nice touch i think they've done a really good job by adding this feature it does actually give us that customization option to make it more personal so let's go back into the general section we do have other options here which you guys can configure regarding the general settings and the mod settings as well apart from the general settings you can also go and configure some different type of chat options as well so as you guys can see we do have some different chat options here that you can enable or disable if you want to do that to exit out of this section all you need to do is click on the cross on the top right corner here and that should take us back to the main menu let's go ahead and jump into a single player world and have a look at the mods that come with the feather client and some of the user mods that i have added into the feather the client and how the game looks with everything combined together all right so as you guys can see we are now inside the game i have actually gone ahead and enabled all of the feather client mods as you guys can see to configure the feather client mods what you need to do is press the right shift key on your keyboard and it will open up this menu you can then go ahead and actually drag these widgets around all over your screen and you can position them in different locations like so you can do that for all of the feather client mod widgets like so so you can actually increase the size or decrease the size whatever you prefer and you can snap it back to position i really do like this configuration because it actually does snap as you guys can see and it looks really neat so it's not looking out of place it is actually snapping into position if you click on this button in the middle here it will open up your mod menu and you can go ahead and enable or disable the different mods 
from here you can then click on this cross icon and you can get rid of that let's press the right shift key again and as you guys can see we also have this button here that says auto text so if i click into this it does actually have the ability to add macros so you can actually have different macros as well we also have a section here for waypoints where we should be able to set different waypoints in our game this is currently being worked on but hopefully in the future releases we should have a waypoint system as well once you are happy with how everything looks you can just press escape and go back into the game so as you guys can see it does actually record my keys there on the left hand side so it is showing what keys i am pressing as you guys can see and it also shows my cps as well some of you might like to use those mods and display those items in your game when you do play your pvp or pve games i have also as i mentioned earlier installed other mods as well so let me press escape and let me click on this icon and this will open up the mod menu section here and as you guys can see i have actually gone ahead and installed loads of different other mods as well for example i've installed the wii zoom mod i've installed zeros minimap i've installed the roughly enough items mod as well and the minecraft capes mod as well so let me just go into third person view so you guys can see that it is showing my cape like so and it is showing my custom years as well you will notice in the bottom left i do have a mini map which is zero's mini map and if i press e on my keyboard we do have the roughly enough items mod as well which is showing so you can use your own user base mods alongside the feather client mods as well which i think is a really cool feature and i haven't actually seen any of the other clients do this so this is quite unique to the feather client and i think it is going to be a game changer when it comes to playing minecraft with these cool mods like we are seeing and the custom user mods as well you can also access the feather client mod section by going into the game menu say so if you press escape on your keyboard you will notice a button here that says feather settings and if you click on that it will bring us to this section here and then you can click on the feather settings and go back into the different mods here so let's look at some of the different mods that we can select here so if we go into the hard section you can see that we have the armor status we have the fps counter keystrokes scoreboard time direction cps all that good stuff and it says high pixel over here we also have some pvp mods as you guys can see we've got the item counter we've got the toggle sprint the potion effects coordinates and the cps as well i really do like this layout i think it looks really cool with the compass ribbon on the top there and the other mods that are showing on the top left corner there of my screen and i do like the fact that we can use our own mods inside the game in terms of fps i have been able to get some really nice fps in my game those of you who do enjoy your pvp side of the minecraft game you can go ahead and enjoy that i have just joined a 1.8.9 version of the game using the feather client as you guys can see and i'm getting some really nice fps in here in the lobby section here as you guys can see on the top left there i do have the fps counter i do have two other menu items here that says cosmetics so you can click on that and you can go ahead and get different items as you guys can see from this section if we go back and let's go into the mod options you can see that this is now using forge as the mod loader and these are all the different forge mods for the minecraft game on version 1.8.9 if i go into options and click on video settings you can see that we are using optifine we do have the different optifine settings here as you guys can see we also have this button here that says essential settings so i can go into that and i can select and deselect different options here under the agenda rule notifications privacy and quality of life section in these options as well so you can go ahead and select different options in this menu as you guys can see my crosshair is looking different but if i wanted to customize that i can just press the right shift key on my keyboard click on feather settings let's look for the crosshair mod here by typing in crosshair in the search box then you can see that there is a mod called custom crosshair so i can click on that and i can actually select different types of crosshairs and customize them as well so i can actually choose a cross a circle cool square or an arrow as well so let's have a look at what, how that one looks as you guys can see it is showing an arrow and i can make it much more thicker or thinner and change the color as well so if you guys do enjoy pvp and you want to change your crosshair in game you can do so using the custom crosshair option there as well
one thing to also note is that we can obviously have our own user base mods alongside the feather client mods and as i mentioned this earlier i did put some mods in into my feather client game for version 1.18.1 and as you guys can see i also included the sodium extra mod so i can actually go into my options click on video settings and as you guys can see we do now have the sodium extra mod running on the feather client and we can disable animations particles and all that good stuff that sodium extra has to offer alongside the normal sodium mod as well so we can give ourselves a further fps boost hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries about the feather client or if you want to know any of the settings that are included in the feather client then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out also let me know your opinions of what you guys think about the feather client are you guys going to use the feather client or are you going to stick to your normal minecraft client or launcher that you guys have been using till now in my opinion this is a really nice new minecraft launcher client it does offer us loads of different features and mods in our game alongside a nice fps boosting ability as well once you are able to check out the feather client i would highly recommend that you guys go ahead and download it and check it out for yourselves please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching